Okay, welcome back. Uh, I'm still Puff and I'll show you what are we going to do today. So today we're starting to put everything back. As you remember, we disassembled everything in preparations to put everything back. So this is the day, we're now putting it all back. Callum will do the main SWOT part into the WTS system. Then we'll ask our technical partners, Krell, to come and change the membranes for the unit. So we've got everything fresh and tidy, nice uh, in preparations to go. And once they've done that, we'll complete the pipe work from the unit into the systems. So that's the plan. Let's see how it goes. So this is the storage tank for the clean water. So once the water's been treated by the WTS system, it fills up this tank and then it's there ready to go whenever the humid fogs demand it. So now we've got them in position and I'll, um, I'll look at starting to pipe it up and get it all connected and up and running. So we've finished installing the pump and the, the related pipe work. So we've got a, the tanks feeding the pump. The pump feeds the uh, humid fogs behind, behind me. We've got a, a one-way check valve on the outlet side of the pump to prevent any backflow. And also a pressure sensor after the pump so we can monitor the, monitor the pressure that the pump's producing remotely. I'm just about to start, in, start installing the pipework for the drain and the overflow for the tank. There'll also be another pressure sensor on there so that the, the level of the tank can be monitor, monitored via that. Alright, so we've finished installing all the, all the pipework, the pumps and the tanks and that. I've just got to install the last level sensor for the clean tank and the last pressure sensor for the incoming main and then Pav will come in and have a look at what's, what's next. That's expansion vessel. Yeah. Uh, okay, one two there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, let me introduce you Lee. Lee is part of our m &E team and he will do some cables, electrical and all those bits for us. Because this upgrade has two things in it, plumbing and electrical, sensors, measurements, everything. So Callum is almost done the pipe work. We can't finish the pipe work because the access is quite limited, so Lee needs to put some electrical bits first, and then Callum can put that tank back into its place. So that's the plan. The plan is to poke the control wires into my new box that I installed on the wall, and the electrical will go into a relay board, which will be on the wall. Once that's done, we can start putting up controls in place. Okay, now I'll show you what's done. Now we have all electric cables tidy and nice in the cable trays. We got new pressure and level sensors. Level sensors for both tanks and pressure sensors in various pipework spaces. And 
We have cabling going into control box, we have power going into relay box. Obviously control box will control the power and main system will control the control box. What I'll do, now I'll fit this one into the control box, I'll link it to the main system and I'll show you how deep is the rabbit hole. Now, tomorrow, Perel is arriving to change the membranes on this unit. Once they've done that, we'll fire it up and it will be back to service.